And welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. Sean Edwards will be back with us soon. Now, try to forget all those negative headlines about troubled actor Ezra Miller. As, as the DC Comics troubled superhero, The Flash, he's terrific. The lightning fast member of the Justice League opens a Pandora's box when he uses his speed to time travel, linking dangerous pathways between multiple universes. The action is swift, the dialogue is funny, and there's a multiverse of surprise cameos. Ironically, The Flash is a half hour too long, but even so, it's a suitably electric comic book flick. Sean says, quote, Ezra Miller proves he's the real deal. He delivers one of the best acting performances ever in a comic book movie in this time-traveling film that gets a bit spastic and relies too heavily on cameos and other comic book tricks. Well, I'm giving The Flash four popcorn bags, and Sean gives it three popcorn bags. Second-tier Pixar movies are still far better than most other animated flicks. Elemental is true to form. It's a racial and social allegory set in Element City, where fire, water, land, and air residents live together. Now, can romance exist when fire and water can't mix? Hey, folks, it's Pixar. Sean says, quote, it's basically an animated version of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, a bit too sophisticated for the kids and way too dull for adults. Get there early because the short Carl's Date, featuring the characters from Up, is a far superior film. Had me in tears, unquote. Well, for Carl's Date, Sean and I can both agree on five popcorn bags, but for Elemental, I'm giving it three popcorn bags, and Sean gives Elemental two popcorn bags. The Forgrin satire, The Blackening, puts an irreverent spin on racial and horror movie cliches. A group of friends meet for a Juneteenth weekend getaway at a cabin in the woods. There, a crazed killer forces them to play a deadly survival game. It's goofy and spoofy and will be much funnier if you watch it with a crowd. Sean says, quote, if Get Out and the Scary Movie franchise had a baby, it would be The Blackening, a super funny and brilliant satire that has to be seen with an audience. The Blackening mixes humor, horror, and race and forces audiences to think while getting hit with effective jump scares. Well, we're pretty much on the same page. I'm giving The Blackening three popcorn bags. Sean does me one better, four popcorn bags. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screening room. Uh, go to our YouTube page or uh, check us out on our Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page and give us a like there because we have all the inside movie scoop and we often give away movie passes and DVDs. So, you know, those DVDs, those are the disky things, that, those old timey <laughs> yeah, things that people used to use. Yeah. Well, we have some yeah. of those too. <laughs> and that's it for this week. Hey, you know, uh, rest real quick. Uh, the yeah. uh, Carl's Date, the Pixar short. Um, yes. That's uh, Ed Asner. It is. Of KCA. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I think I read that like they were able to, you know, he recorded it before he passed is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Right, right. It's one of the last things he, he did. He's got one more movie that's coming up in a couple of weeks, we'll, which we'll talk about. Oh. But uh, it, it does, it uh, touches your heart. Mm. Oh, wow. Ed Asner. Yeah. What, a, right. what a treasure. All right. All Russ, right. Thanks, thanks for that. Russ. You bet. All right, Carrie.